Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We're out on the runway again with another PX2. Uh, Valentin is at the controls again in another earnest attempt to fulfill that X-Plane supersonic contract. Um, which we just messed up by a little bit last time. Alright, we're going to get over the second bump of the runway and then fire up our J2 units. Um, yeah, this was able to be completed before our uh, next orbital rocket will be ready. Here are the JTOs. And we'll just fire them off like missiles this time because we're already off the ground. Several of them colliding in front of us. But at least we won't be carpet bombing things nearly as badly. It's actually the best takeoff so far. Lots of pretty explosions. All right, I'm going to fly this out to range and probably in fast forward. So I will pick you guys up again when we are turning around and starting to make our run. Don't ever, ever touch the controls in time warp. Never, ever, 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 ever. Okay. <laughs> Tragedy averted. Heading restored. Back to time warp. All right, I'm willing to call this at range, so we'll go ahead and bank into our turn here and start our slow turnaround. Uh, man, sometimes I kind of do wish I had a flight stick so I wouldn't have to bounce on two keys at the same time. Rudder to maintain our nose angle and uh, elevators to actually do the turn. But uh, that would be entirely too much. You know, lots of people choose to play this with a flight stick. I generally don't. Call it personal preference. All right. So the goal here is to maintain it right about 12,000 uh, meters and between 415 and 615 meters per second if you, <laughs> for three minutes. Exceeding any of those variables for even a blip of a second results in a resetting of the counter. We have just enough fuel to do this once. So it's very, very, very important to get it all right, all on the first try, without any screw-ups or bouncing around or any of that nonsense. So we are about ready to separate since we can just lock in our heading here all right throttle is set uh, let's get some of this altitude back all right and hey there's Venus there down there in the water in three two one ignition and we can start bringing that throttle down almost right away actually no let's leave it up until we get to speed Four fifteen, not three fifteen. Come on. All right. And the counter has started as we are within our speed goal. Now maintaining the altitude part of this is going to be the interesting part basically going to try to keep it right around 12,000 that gives us a thousand meters uh, plus or minus to play in and as long as speed doesn't exceed uh, 615 meters per second we should be good to go 
This is honestly the hardest three minutes of KSB ever because such tight control is necessary. Yeah, our speed is getting a little high there. I know, I've got another 100 meters per second or so to battle through, but I, I just I can't stop the acceleration sometimes. It just seems so counterintuitive to run this vehicle at such a low throttle, considering it's easily capable of 1,200 meters per second, especially if you got it started at this altitude. I wouldn't be surprised to see 1,600 meters per second. Oh, man. Just the bounciness. The wavery bounciness. Come on. Stay steady, baby. All right, come on, Val. You got this. You got this, Val. Condensation crossing over everything as we push through the sound barrier. Yeah, it just seems so weird to take a something that's easily capable of Mach 3 and not even doing Mach 2 in it. It seems counterintuitive. All right, let's bring up this contract while we still can. Come on, up, 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 up. Uh, this is really challenging me because I can't do more than one thing at a time ever. All right, 38 seconds. Just maintain it, Val. Oh God, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, thank goodness. All right, we didn't, yes. Whew. Whew. Come on, man. <laughs> Staring at the clock and not paying attention to altitude. That almost bit me in the ass. Nine seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, contract complete. We are cleared for landing. Val choosing to just go ahead and peg the throttle for this last bit. Ooh, almost 700 meters per second. Whew! All right, now Val, you just have to stick the landing, which is the difficult part here. So we're going to fly way past KSC using some of this altitude and speed to our advantage. We're going to loop around and, and land on uh, runway 90, hopefully. So I will probably speed up everything right up until final approach because it's just going to be a lot of very boring this, this exact frame. But man, when there's... <laughs> No power being applied, this thing just glides like a dream. I may have glided out a little too far. But uh, we're picking up speed pretty nicely now. So I actually may take a little dive and pitch here as we're coming closer to the hill around this lake. So yeah, we're going to have plenty of speed. None worries whatsoever. No, not quite lined up yet. All right, my mistake. All right. Take an opportunity to shed some speed. 
Oop, I did not need to do that quite so aggressively. Careful, Val. Now you're just showing off. Gear is down and locked. Quick save has been taken. Speed entirely too high. Still. Oh man. Alright. Throw the brakes on. Prepare for the bounce. There it is. Oh yeah. You're going around again. <laughs> oh, because we touched the ground, we finished the contract. That's amazing. Good job, Val. That was by no means a successful recovery of anything. <sighs> Alright. Quick touch and go just to show that she can. I don't know how much... How it's possible that so much energy gets imparted on a bounce. Just a quick contact with the runway like that. All right, much lower speed now, much easier three and a half G turn. All right, you're gonna have to swing back. Yes, build that speed, Val. Now I don't know if you'll have enough to make it to the runway. Oh yeah, you will. Oh yeah, you will. Oh, camera angle affecting how good I am at seeing where the runway is. All right, now bring it in. Easy, Val, you're going to stall. You're the only pilot we have left. Yeah, get in with that rudder. Pull up. Oh. <sighs> Val, you... Fucking hot rotting demon, you. <sighs> okay, we did it. Official like. We even landed it and everything. So that's a contract complete, and I'm very happy to see. Although I'm still quite curious to see what this plane will do flat out starting from uh, 12k altitude. But uh, that might be an episode or two out. Val's got a couple of other things on her agenda to do, like the second first official spacewalk, which we will get to next time. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. I will see you later.